Good morning, boys and girls. Today we will be learning about tally charts. The lesson objective is that by the end of the lesson, you will be able to organize, represent, and interpret data with up to three categories using a tally chart. All right. So before we get started, make sure you have a writing tool and a paper in front of you because you will be needing it along the way. Let's get started. Let's start with a little warm up. Find the missing add-ins. So look over here at number sentences and we're thinking blank plus eight equals 15. What number do we need to add here so then when we put eight more, it equals 15. Go ahead, think about it. Okay, write it down in your paper. Okay, so there's different ways to do this, right? One way could be by counting on. I start with eight and I count on till I get to 15 and see what, how many more I need it. Another way is that I could think doubles. I know that eight plus eight equals 16 and I need one less than 16, then that would be seven, right? So seven plus eight equals 15. We could continue thinking this way, thinking about doubles, or we could see eight, seven, and six. Do you notice anything about these numbers? Right? What do you notice? Right, so Yes, the sum is 15 for all of them. Yes, I noticed that too. Did you notice anything about these numbers right here? Right, it's one less, right? Eight, seven, six. How, how might that look on this side? Right, so we already have our seven here. When this we were going one less, what might this look like? Think about any patterns that you might be able to see. Oh, okay, did you guys notice the seven and the seven? So what might this number be? Write it down. Okay, you got your answer. Let's see. Eight. eight plus seven equals 15. And if you look up here, seven plus eight equals 15, therefore eight plus seven equals 15. So earlier we mentioned that on this side, with these add-ins, we see that we're adding, I mean, we're going one less, right? Eight, seven, six. What pattern do you see here? Okay, so if, do you guys think it will work if we continue the pattern to this part right here? I'll give you a few seconds to see if it will work. Okay. Write the number that you think goes in this box. Okay, got it. Let's see. Is that the number that you wrote down? Awesome job. If not, if it's not the number that you wrote on your paper, let's see. Does it make sense? Is this true? Does 9 plus 6 equals 15? Okay, put the big number in your head, 9. We're going to count on six more. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Is this statement true? Right, so do you see 
how the nine goes here. Now we were talking about a pattern here, eight, seven, six, and then we notice seven, eight, and what would be our next number? Nine, right? So something to think, think about, what would be the next number? The next number sentence. 10 plus five equals 15. Nice job. All right, now that our mind is ready to go, let's go on to words to know. Okay, these are some of the words that you'll be hearing throughout the PowerPoint data. Data is information, information about a topic. And today we're going to be gathering information about different topics. You will be hearing me say the word survey. Survey is the same question that we're going to ask people to gather data, right? To gather information. And then you will also hear the word tally chart and the tally chart is the tool that we will be using today to record our data or to record our information. Hey, okay, are you ready? Let's get started. What is a tally chart? A tally chart is the tool we use to record or collect data. This could be a tally chart. I want you to think about where have you seen one in our classroom? Right, yes, when we do our table points, right, when we do our group points, I use a tally chart. So we, we use a tally chart in our classroom. Hmm, I'm trying to think if we've seen or use it in somewhere else other than the table points. I think that's pretty much it where, where we use it in the classroom, right? It's a tally chart to answer the questions. And I want you to be thinking, how do you know, right? So, okay. so let's go ahead and look carefully at the tally chart and let's answer the first one. How many people choose the drums? Go ahead, write it down on your paper and let's check. Eight, right? Five, six, seven, eight. Eight people chose drums. Okay. Let's look at the chart and answer how many people chose the guitar. Write it down. Yes, five, right? How many people chose the piano? Awesome, six, right? Really good job at interpreting data, right? Using our tally chart. Okay. This one right here, you're going to do on your own. Okay, so I'll read the question and I'll give you a few minutes to write it down. Uh, not the question, just write down the answer. Okay, so here we go. Use the chart to answer the questions. Look at the chart, you do not need to copy the chart. You could just look at it and write the totals in your paper. So red has how many totals? Okay. Now look at blue, what's the total for blue? Mm -hmm. Three. All right, and what's the total for purple? Question number one. Remember, you're just writing the answer on your paper. So how many people chose red? Go back to the chart, check for your answer, and go ahead and write it down. Okay, number two. How many people 
chose purple. Okay. Number three. Do more people like purple or blue? Right, so you're looking at purple or blue. Do more people like purple or do more people like blue? Last one, number four. Do more people like red or purple? Do more people like red or purple? Go ahead and write your answer. All right, awesome job. Let's move on. Ooh, now I'm excited. Now you guys get to collect your own data, okay? So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to think of a question for your survey. What do you want to ask your family? Right, what do you want to ask? What data do you want to collect? Are you asking them what is your favorite sport? Are you asking them who is your favorite president? What is your favorite book? Which is the best car in the world? Who's your favorite soccer player? Who's your favorite basketball player? The possibilities are endless, right? So right now, let's take this time and I want you to think about one question for your survey. Hey, what's your favorite food? What's your favorite color? Anything that you want to ask your family and friends. All right, you have your question? Okay, so the next thing that you want to do is that you're going to want to make a tally chart, right? A tally chart like this. All right, so you could go ahead and copy it onto your paper, take a picture for you to use later. But you're going to need your tally chart, okay? So you have your question, and now you have your tally chart, right? Okay, so everybody knows what question they're gonna use for their survey? Alrighty, let's move on. You're ready, okay? You are ready. Now that you have your survey ready and you have your tally chart, you're going to go off and collect the data. So make sure you tell me what's your question, right? What question are you asking people? What is your survey question? Make sure that your tally chart has a title, at least three categories. Make sure you show me the tallies and make sure you show me the totals and how many people you surveyed. So you wanna make sure that you survey at least five people in your family and that you record the data, okay? Can you survey more than five people? Absolutely. You could do it through a phone call to a text, right, in person. So gather that information, make your tally chart, and very important, please place your data in a safe place because we will be needing it for our next lesson, okay? Once you have your tally chart with your question and your data, make sure you take a picture of it and share with me using Class Dojo. This was awesome. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.